Well, guys, it finally happened. Something that I never actually thought would happen. I don't think you guys ever thought it would happen either, right? Like, we never thought we would see a Marvel movie just completely fall apart and flop. Black Widow is such a disaster that even Scarlett Johansson had to turn around and sue her very own company that gave her the chance in the MCU. Black Widow is a disaster. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time or you're a longtime viewer, not yet a subscriber, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. That way you guys can stay up to date on all future content here on the channel. So Black Widow, the disaster that is Black Widow. This movie is being talked about, but not for the right reasons. People are saying this movie is a dud. They're saying it's boring. They're saying it sucks. It flop. Scarlett Johansson suing Disney. Kevin Feige's pissed off because the way they put it on Disney Plus. There is a whole mess. Black Widow is absolutely a mess. This was a movie that was supposed to come out over a year ago. It got delayed because of COVID. And then when it finally does hit theaters, it's an absolute train wreck. People don't like it. It's, it's flopping at the box office. But that is the question though. Is Black Widow a flop? Is it actually Disney's first flop? That is right now, currently, the movie's been out in theaters for about a month now. So right now we got $344 million worldwide with the opening of $80 million on its opening weekend. It is absolutely a flop, right? This is Marvel's first flop, 100%. Eh, not so quick, not so quick, guys, because I'm going to show you some numbers proving that Black Widow wasn't in fact Marvel's first flop, but I'm going to take you back in a time machine. How much do you think Captain America First Avenger made? Boom! 370 million for Captain America. Well, I know what you guys are thinking. Okay, so that's just one example, right, Rob? Uh, let's go to Thor. Let's, let's check out Thor. Thor... Much, much, much better than Captain America. Opened up with $65 million, but did much, much better than Captain America. But the point I'm trying to make is we are so accustomed to these billion-dollar movies, these billion, billion-dollar Marvel movies, that when a Marvel movie performs like an average movie should, we look at it and go, it's a flop. It's a flop. It's a flop! It's not a flop. But I got one more example, guys. I got one more example. Because Black Widow, so far, is still the movie that did the worst in the MCU, right? It's still in theaters, but it only did $344 million. It's still the worst in the MCU. Well, guys, let me introduce you to a little movie called The Incredible Hulk. $264.7 million worldwide opening up to a $55.4 million opening. That's right, guys. The Incredible Hulk is, in fact, Marvel's lowest performing movie. The point I'm trying to make is that we like to scream bloody murder and the sky is falling because a Marvel movie doesn't perform to our expectations of what we set the standards to be. Ever since these movies started making a billion dollars, we set the standard of, oh, you have to make a billion dollars or it's a failure. And that's not how movies go. As long as you make your budget back, as long as you perform well enough to make a profit in theaters, then your movie is considered successful. We have to also remember that billion dollar movies was not the norm. Movies did not perform billion dollars. That wasn't normal. Marvel was the exception to the rule, but we got so accustomed to it that we put this stupid little asterisk standards on our own minds and say, if it doesn't hit a billion, it's a flop. Captain Marvel hitting a billion is an anomaly. That's that doesn't normally happen. But when movies don't perform that high now, we look at it and go, oh, this is a failure. It's a bust. And that's not the way it is. So Black Widow, is it a flop? Absolutely not. Is it a failure? Absolutely not. Did it underperform to our expectations? Absolutely. And there's a big difference between our expectations and the actual truth 
of the statement behind it's a flop. Well, guys, that's my thoughts. I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.